A lot of people come to St. Martin for one thing, and it is to see the airplanes land really close on the runway, right by the beach. <laughs> but there's a lot more to this island than just this. We are going to be here as a family for the next five days because there's so many more things to do here on this island. Right now, we are inside of the compound of our private villa. That's right, there are a couple different ways that you can find places to stay when you come to St. Martin. One of them is to get a private villa, which there are lots of them in gated, secured communities. And then you also have a gate just for your little villa. But then also there are quite a few hotels, but a lot of the people that come here do stay in the houses. We were not paid to make this video, but the St. Martin Tourist Office did provide accommodations. They gave us the nicest villa that I have ever stayed in in my entire life. So I thought we'd give you guys a tour and show you what it looks like because it's just been kind of a dream to be there. So right in the front, we have coconut trees everywhere. And then check this out. This is the view. You can see directly into our front door, directly out of the back with windows, and to the ocean. There's Leslie walking by right then. Okay, so we walk in the front door. It is this beautiful glass door. You have the view looking out with the infinity edge pool and then the cliff and then the ocean, which we'll get to that in a minute. Artwork, beautiful artwork all throughout. Right after you walk in, you turn to the left and you have the living room space. So this living room is really big and the views are unbelievable. It's like floor to ceiling windows throughout. There's no TV on the wall right here. Up inside the ceiling right here is a projector and it projects in beautiful HD quality all along that wall. You see the door and you're like, well that seems a little sketchy. How do you even lock that thing? Well, there's a couple different things you can do. One, you push this button. You hear that noise? With magnets, it just locked. It won't open now. It is locked. What happens when a hurricane comes through here? A hurricane came through, Hurricane Irma, I think it was, a few years ago. This house survived. A couple of windows broke, but that's it. And I was kind of wondering, like, this is a lot of exposure. You feel almost like when you go to sleep at night, even though it's in a protected compound. It feels a little bit dangerous that like this is your front door and there's like a gap even in between the windows right here. Like look at that. Turns out there are shutters and they're like storm shutters and they're amazing. I've never seen anything like it. So check this out. I'm gonna show you the shutters and how it works. I come onto this and push the close button. Freddie, do me a favor and activate barn door protocol, will you? Yes, boss. Check this out. These shutters come out of the ceiling and lock the house down. And this is one of my favorite parts. Look, there's like a little gap of sunshine in between it, and then it's really satisfying at the end. It just like locks it all up. Watch this. Boom. Check that out. We are locked in now. <laughs> We're totally locked in here. I mean, look at that, there's the front door. Now, what if there's an emergency and you need to get out and the electricity's off? There are a couple doors that you can go out. Like this one right here. There we go. It's a thick metal door, so it's like a storm door. But you can walk out this and then, oh, it's still raining. It's so crazy, like, look at this. It's totally sunny and rainy. This is dead. <laughs> I asked how much this house cost, and they said that there's one next door that's for sale for like $16 million. This one would probably sell for around $8 million maybe, just an estimate. It's not for sale. The people rent it out and they probably come visit every once in a while, but let's open up the doors again. Let's get some sunshine in here. There's an island that's across the way, and I think it's called Antigua or something like that. There's an entire other island over there. Leslie says maybe it's Anguilla. I don't know, some different country. So, next place, Leslie, give us a tour, show us the kitchen. Okay. Um, the kitchen was all stocked, and we make it full meals here. It's great. I love all the artwork you mentioned, but everything is like original artwork. It's not like they're buying it somewhere, so I really appreciate that. And stuff's hidden in here, which is all like flush, which I really like. So it looks like it's a wall, but it's not. And it's a great kitchen. Artwork. We've yeah. got the sink right here, dishwasher, 
the stove, a very nice Sub-Zero refrigerator. This pineapple right here, we should probably eat that. Let's take a walk down this hallway. This is like a little office sitting area right here is where we charge a lot of our things. One thing I like is there is an outdoor dining area. You have that dining table and then all of this vegetation that's just on the wall that's really pretty. Look at all these Legos. And it just looks like a wall, but there's tons of storage everywhere. And then one thing I just saw while she was opening that is, what is this? Did you know that was there? No. There's two of them. You're not allowed, it's too loud. What? I wanna do it. Okay, my show house. us your bedroom, Welcome girls. To our Okay, your bed is huge. Yeah, she won't let me have it. And then what's London's bed? The tiny it's bunk bed? It's not, it's not. Oh, well you are tiny. It's really comfy though, because it's like, it's your own little room, because it's like closed in on all the walls. It's super comfy. That's good. And then you have a view out here with a deck, and it's gorgeous. And then show us this chair over here. This is kind of a funky okay, chair. This is the chair. It's just the chair. The bed. And do weird stuff. And that's pretty comfy too. Yeah. Okay, I haven't even been in your bathroom yet. Okay, welcome to our bathroom. And the cool, the cool Whoa, thing very is, nice shower. is this can go and cover the shower. Oh, so you but can it, have a door over your shower. it also covers the bathroom. So you can't cover yeah. both at the same time? I mean, you can, like this, but like... Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Some good artwork in here, some space to put your clothes up, and then two sinks for you. Very nice. Yes. And your drums. Did you play the drums while I you were here? Did she I did. She did. <laughs> Let's walk across this room, the living room. We've spent so much time just chilling in here. It like makes it hard to even want to go out and do certain things on the island because this house is amazing. All right, Leslie's just sitting right there. What are you doing? What do you need from me? Let me take you to another part of the house. We come down these stairs. More artwork. We have a ton of towels and cleaning supplies. And then another metal door. And then here's our carport, our garage. There's our rental car we've been using for this. And if we come over to this door, we have another bedroom. Whoops, we did not make the bed today down here. This is one of the guest rooms downstairs that has a private walkway that goes out and then you can go up those stairs to get to the pool and the actual backyard. And one cool thing is there are actual banana trees that are here. And what's cool about this room is also, it does have the metal shutters. And this room downstairs also has its own shower, a sink, and a toilet. But then you go next door and there is another bedroom. I know, so many bedrooms. There is your private door to go outside. It also has the metal shutters. And then you can walk into, again, its own private bathroom, complete with a shower, a sink, and another toilet. This room is the master bedroom. It has a TV on the wall, king size bed, some artwork, and then of course, a nice view looking outside with a hot tub over on the side. Some weights if you want to get massive. And then some more art, a nice little sitting area. And then the master bathroom is a little bigger than the girls' bathroom. You have one closet here and another closet right here. And then you have your shower, but it does not have a door. But it's still warm enough in here, it's okay. Two different sinks and then the toilet inside of there. And sometimes just random clouds just come over and it just rains for like three minutes and then it disappears. Like check this out, you can see the sunshine way out there, but look at the pool. It's raining right now. All right, here we are at the beach. Wait, <laughs> this is our pool. If you get really low, you can see it's a zero in edge infinity pool. And it looks like we go straight into the ocean. Yes, it does. Look at that, my hair looks so good. So yeah, look how cool this is. 
London with her goggles, her super fancy goggles yeah, on. I look so and cool. then it goes off into the ocean. Yeah. But really, the way it works, no, don't show them. is the water spills over into here and then it goes back into the pool. So the pool is very warm. It has the infinity edge. It's gorgeous. We've spent a ton of time in there. It's actually just as warm as the spa, so we didn't even really go into the spa. But there is a shower outside with the spa if you did want to go take a shower before you get in. But I mean, that view. I guess I can't walk over there because it's raining, but I'll show you later. All right, it's not raining anymore. It is beautiful out here. Let's check out this house. It is on the edge of a cliff, basically. So there are some bushes. Oh, a lizard. What the heck? A little lizard guy. Look at that dude. Yeah, basically paradise. It's 83 degrees, which is not super hot, unlike some islands that we've gone to. And then at nighttime, it gets down to 77 degrees, which six degree difference between the high and the low, that is really nice. One of the questions about this trip is, where is Lincoln? How come it's just me, London, Claire, and Leslie? Well, Lincoln has a big golf tournament coming up this week, and he just could not get away. He has summer golf coming up. It's a really important summer for him to golf. And so sadly we went on a vacation without him, but it was still a great trip. And I know he got a lot of golf done with his friends and practiced hard. So it's hard for me to be bothered when he's working hard on the thing that he really wants. But we would have definitely liked to have him here. We have room for him in this house. There are a lot of beautiful beaches on this island but we're gonna take a boat and go to a private island. I guess there's multiple islands around here. I don't know, but uh, it's beach day. Hello. <laughs> Just leave these here. Okay. Yeah, yeah got it. shoes in here and jump in. Okay. All right. Great. Perfect. Welcome aboard. Thank, Thank you. you. What? 